So Qualcomm has announced the Snapdragon 780G and it's using a lot of the same CPU technology as you find in the Snapdragon 888. So we're seeing this waterfall, this trickle down effect of technology from the 800 series hitting the 700 series. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Just as a quick refresher, the Snapdragon 888 uses three different types of ARM CPU designs. It's got the X1, that's the high performance core. You've got three Cortex A78 cores, again, high performance, but not as high performance as the X1, but there to back up the X1 in a one plus three configuration. And then you've got the Cortex A55, the four power efficiency cores, which are used, for example, when you're just watching a YouTube video, all they're doing is getting data from the uh, internet over Wi-Fi and giving it to the video decoder doesn't need lots of power. Now the Snapdragon 780G uses the same Cortex A78 cores, those latest generation of ARM Cortex cores, but without the X1. But you've still got the three plus one configuration. You've got one core running at 2.4 gigahertz, then you've got three further A78 cores running at 2.2 gigahertz, and then finally you've got those Cortex A55 cores now running at 1.9 gigahertz. So the performance of the 780G should be quite impressive, particularly when it comes to multi-core performance, because you've basically seven of the eight cores are exactly the same as the cores that you get in the Snapdragon 888. There is of course a difference that the clock speed is uh, quite a bit lower, so we're down to 2.4 gigahertz for the 780G. And for the GPU, Qualcomm have chosen to put in the Adreno 642. Now the Adreno 640 was what you find in the Snapdragon 855. So this is kind of just slightly better than what you get in the 855, not quite as good as what you get in the 865 or in the 888. So we're looking at leading edge CPU design, Cortex A78, slightly lower clock speed, and we're looking at a flagship GPU technology, but one or two generations behind. And of course, that's why it is a 700 series and not 800 series, but a very good 700 series. On top of all that, of course, you've also got 5G connectivity, you've got Bluetooth 5.2, you've got Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and you've also got a triple ISP. That means you can take three photos simultaneously using three different camera sensors, and the uh, CPU is able to record all three of those. And in fact, there's some clever technology that can be used for doing zooming in and out, where you're actually using three different optical sensors and switching between them as the subject moves uh, further away or closer. It also can record 4K uh, video, including with processing going on, so HDR processing, even portrait mode, bokeh mode processing going on while you're recording 4K. Other few interesting things, you've got five nanometer process node, it supports full HD plus displays up to 144 hertz, and it supports LPDDR4 RAM up to 16 gigabytes. So just a quick summary, you've got the Cortex A78 cores in that one plus three setup. You've got better than the Snapdragon 855 graphics with the Adreno 642. The whole thing's manufactured on a five nanometer process. You've got the triple ISP. You've got 4K video recording. There's Quick Charge 4 Plus in there as well. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Now it's best not to rely on the YouTube recommendation algorithm because it may not have shown you this video. Instead, it's better to subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.